Hello, I'm Steve Reyes. VectorStar is now available with noise figure measurements. Uh, the technique that we use for noise figure is the cold source method. Uh, the cold source uh, eliminates the need for a hot cold source, uh, which is going to contribute to the uh, mismatch errors that are associated normally with noise figure measurements. Uh, so what we have is a uh, noise figure available in all of our models, uh, starting from 70 kilohertz and going up to the 20, 40, 50, or 70 gigahertz uh, versions. Uh, typically what you would be doing is going straight into the sampler, uh, in other words, going straight into our, our loops here uh, in order to optimize the noise figure uh, parameter of the receiver. Um, if you're going to be making measurements above 70 gigahertz, uh, then you can move to the broadband system. Uh, the broadband system uses the test set with the millimeter wave modules. So then when you add your test set, then you can add your module in order to do millimeter wave measurements above to 70 gigahertz. But in this case, uh, we would not use the standard millimeter wave modules uh, because the couplers would degrade the noise figure uh, performance of the receiver. So what we've done uh, for people that are making measurements for the frequencies that work all the way up to 125 gigahertz uh, is the, um, uh, the millimeter wave modules have been configured for a direct uh, access to the samplers inside the module. So in this case what we're showing is uh, a 94 gigahertz noise figure measurement. Uh, the LNA is our test device and then the uh, two amplifiers are the uh, preamps uh, along with the filter before the receiver. And so what we're also using is the specially configured millimeter wave module. Uh, this is the 3744A RX, uh, which has been optimized for noise figure measurements by removing the coupler and injecting the signal directly into the sampler. Uh, and that will give us an improvement in noise figure performance up to about 12 dB. So normally people would be interested in what the uncertainties are uh, of a typical noise figure measurement. And that's where the noise figure uncertainty calculator comes in. The noise figure uncertainty calculator uh, provides uh, feedback as to what the uncertainties are based on the different parameters, the, the level of noise figure expected from the DUT, the match, mismatch, uh, et cetera, in the system, uh, as well as the noise figure uh, performance of the receiver itself. And so by knowing uh, these aspects and inputting it into the uncertainty calculator, you can then see what the uncertainties will be and adjust your system accordingly based on what your objectives are in terms of uncertainties. So the uh, total package then is the software uh, provided in VectorStar, which provides the noise figure measurements. Uh, and it also includes uh, the different aspects of the calibrations, uh, et cetera, which uh, sets up the system uh, for the measurement. So you, you have the software, and then uh, if you need to go into the higher frequencies, uh, you can use the uh, noise figure receiver uh, for the frequencies that work all the way up to 125 gigahertz.